हेलो किड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल आदित्य किड्स एजुकेशन आई होप यू हैव एंजॉयड माय प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट इज सलेशियल बॉडीज इफ यू हैवन वॉच दैट वीडियो देन फर्स्ट चेक आउट द वीडियो आई हैव गिवन द लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स ओके यू हैव लर्न अबाउट सलेशियल बॉडीज इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड कंटिन्यूइंग विद दैट अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज सोलार सिस्टम okay the solar system this solar system consists of the sun earth planets and their satellites and some other celestial bodies known as asteroids meteorites comets also comes in solar system okay now see this image of a solar system you can see the sun in the center of the eight planets okay and the all the eight planets are revolving around the sun yes you can see okay so first of all we will talk about the sun the sun is in the center of the solar system I told you earlier that sun is the star and it has its own heat and light and it is made up of many gases so hydrogen and helium are the main gases present in the sun okay okay do you ever wonder that why the planets do not go off their path have you wondered that because sun provides the pulling force that binds the solar system it is the ultimate source of heat and light for the solar system now see in this picture yes this is a picture of sun let's talk more about sun the sun is about 150 million kilometer away from the earth the light of the sun takes about 8 minutes and 20 second to reach the earth do you want to know how can we calculate it okay let's see you all know that to find the time we divide distance by speed but here we are talking about the time taken by the light of the sun to reach the earth so we will divide the distance and what is distance that is distance between sun and earth and it is about 15 lakh kilometer or 15 million kilometer to the speed that is speed of light and it is 3 lakh kilometer per second so when we divide it we gets 500 seconds and that is equals to 8 minutes and 20 seconds okay children isn't it interesting next we will talk about planets there are 8 planets in our solar system in order of their distance from the sun they are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune now see in this picture what you can see there are four first four planets and they are mercury venus earth and mars these four planets are also called inner planets or rocky planets and why all these four planets are made up of rocks okay and these four planets are closer to the sun next we will talk about next four more planets and they are jupiter saturn uranus and neptune these planets are outer planets and also known as gaseous planet these planets 
a very very far away from the sun and are huge planets made up of gases and liquids okay children okay children i know it's not easy to remember the name of all the planets in the order of the distance from sun so i'm going to give you a magic line and that is you have to only remember the line that is my very efficient mother just served us nuts let's see how it works my m for mercury very v for venus e efficient e for earth m mother m for mars just j jupiter served s for saturn us u for uranus and nuts n yes and for neptune so i hope it will help you to remember the names of planets orbits all the eight planets of the solar system move around the sun in the fixed path these paths are elongated they are called orbits it means hamare solar system mein eight planets hain aur ye sare eight planets सन के चारों ओर रिवॉल्व करते हैं घूमते हैं इन अ फिक्स्ड पाथ एट अ डिफरेंट डिस्टेंसेस, एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड ऑर्बिट नाउ यू विल वेरी क्लियर अबाउट ऑर्बिट बाय वाचिंग दिस वीडियो यू विल सी ऑल द प्लैनेट्स आर रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड द सन एट अ फिक्स्ड पाथ एंड नॉट गोइंग टू अनदर्स प्लानट पाथ and that dotted imaginary line is a orbit okay so now let's have some notable facts about various planets and their satellites so first we will start with mercury mercury is the first nearest planet to the sun mercury takes 88 days to complete one revolution around the sun and it has no satellite okay now see the image of mercury mercury has no gases and because of this life is not possible next is venus venus is the second nearest planet to the sun it is like earth in a size and mass so it is also called as earth's twin it is known as the evening and morning star can you tell me why okay venus shines so brightly that it is the first star to appear in the sky after the sun set and the last to this appear before the sun rises you can also notice it due to this phenomena shown by the venus during morning and evening time this planet is referred as morning and evening star venus is the hottest planet in our solar system it is very much hotter than mercury also okay and it has no satellite Okay Venus rotates on its axis from east to west that is in clockwise direction okay Venus as well as Uranus also rotates on its axis from east to west that is in clockwise direction remaining other planets rotates on its axis from west to east that is anti clockwise direction next is the earth our earth yes the earth is the third nearest planet to the sun it is slightly flat at the poles and bulges 
and the middle that is equator that's why its shape is described as geode its two third surface is covered by water it is therefore called a blue planet okay moon is the satellite of earth the earth is a unique planet in the solar system because of these reasons favorable condition to support life it has water and air which are very essential for our survival the air has a life supporting gases and like that is oxygen okay see the image of earth from this it is seen like from the space okay next is moon and moon is the satellite of yes earth moon is only one satellite of our earth its diameter is only one quarter that of the earth it is about 3 lakhs okay it is about 3 lakhs 84400 km away from the earth do you know children the light from the moon takes only 1.3 seconds to reach the earth yes it's true only 1.3 seconds it is nearer to the earth than other celestial bodies now you know that moon revolves around the earth yes the moon revolves around the earth in about 27 days and exactly the same period of time moon takes to rotate on its axis as a result only one side of the moon is visible to us on the earth yes do you understand okay i'm going to explain in a very simple language okay okay moon ko earth ka one complete revolution lagane mein 27 days lagte hain okay how many days 27 days मून को उतना ही टाइम लगता है अपने एक्सिस पर रोटेट होने में दैट इज 27 डेज एंड फॉर दिस रीजन हमें मून का हमेशा एक ही पार्ट या एक ही पोर्शन दिखाई देता है यू कैन ऑल्सो नोटिस दिस इन दिस वीडियो द मून इज रोटेटिंग ऑन इट्स एक्सिस एज वेल एज रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड द अर्थ एट द सेम टाइम बट यू आर एबल टू सी only mouth portion of the moon okay you can again play the video and we can never see the back portion of the moon we can see only 59% of the total surface of the moon okay so now this video is extending very long so we will continue from here in the next video that is solar system part 2 it will include remaining planets asteroids meteors comet universe and galaxy till then stay safe and be continue with my channel so that you can't miss more interesting videos okay bye kids